Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab is the perfect tool for restoring, optimizing and burning music. For example, records, cassette recordings or MP3 files from the Internet. This introduction video will give you an idea of how easy and quickly everything works. A maximum of three steps is required. Recording music and importing files happens on the Import page. The actual editing, restoring and mastering follows on the pages Cleaning and Mastering. File export and CD or DVD burning is performed on the Export page. On the Import page music is recorded or imported from the hard disk or CD. When recording from a stereo system, the line out or headphone output should be connected to the line in port of your PC. Next, open the recording dialog. Play the music to set the gain properly. Make sure that the level doesn't exceed 0 dB, otherwise unpleasant digital distortions may result. Even during recording you can divide complete albums or cassettes into individual CD tracks. In this case, songs are automatically recognized thanks to the pauses and track markers are set accordingly. Start the recording by pressing the record button. And with stop. Besides restoring and mastering tasks, Audio Cleaning Lab can also be used for comfortably editing and adding transitions and surround sound, plus much more. In the upper area, you can see the window which displays the musical waveform. This includes the practical and convenient overview track, which makes navigating to an individual audio file or project very easy. Simply stretch open an area. Quickly jump to the desired area with a click or adjust the size of the selected display range with the mouse wheel and the control key pressed down. In this way you can navigate effectively through audio files that need to be edited. Begin playback by pressing the play button or the space bar. The play cursor can be positioned anywhere simply by clicking with the mouse. Move individual audio objects with the mouse or set a new order. The CD track markers can also be moved using the mouse. Here the CD tracks are regrouped. You can set the volume or a fade in, fade out for each audio object using the handles. To the left of the waveform are the tools for cutting longer waveforms, for zooming, for deleting, or for adjusting the length of audio objects. The cleaning page is used to remove audio disturbances from the music, such as crackling, popping, humming, overmodulation, clipping and hissing. You can choose whether cleaning will take place fully automatically, to start the step-by-step -step assistant and follow along step-by-step, -step, or execute all of the effect settings manually. You also have useful presets for the most common restoring tasks. Every effect has a slider for fast editing. You can launch presets via the template field. 
If you want to get deeper into editing, open the relevant effects rack. You have access to useful information about the effects, proper application and typical sound examples for every effect via the Info Monitor. Additional help is available for each effect via Help. Every adjustment you make here will have an effect on all of the objects in the arranger. On the right-hand side of the effect area, you can find the mastering effects for sound optimization. Use the mastering effects to improve brightness, stereo image, dynamics and much more. You also have the opportunity to work with the step-by-step -step assistant here or select helpful presets. However, Audio Cleaning Lab is not limited to the supplied sound effects. External sound effects can also be integrated using the standard VST and DirectX interfaces. As was already mentioned, the changes you've made here will be applied to all audio files. If you want to work on individual effects, then you can access object effects via the Object FX button. The changes you make here will only be applied to the selected object. Jump back and forth between objects. If you are satisfied with your settings, close the object dialog. Whether or not an object has individual settings can be recognized via the colored object FX field on the waveform. On the export page, the cleaned and optimized music is exported as a file or burned onto CD or DVD. Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab can burn audio CDs, data CDs and DVDs. First of all, the individual titles have to be prepared for export. A track marker should be positioned in front of each title. You can only jump between track titles during playback if track markers have been placed before the CD is burned. Track markers can be inserted manually using the marker button or automatically. To burn an audio CD or data disk, simply press the corresponding button. You can also burn your music with surround sound. Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab supports all Dolby ProLogic compatible surround sound systems. Before burning, activate the surround function in the track window. In the surround dialog, position the virtual speakers according to the recommended loudspeaker placement of your surround system. Practical? If you like, Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab shuts down your computer after burning or after successful timed recordings. You can also export your music titles into the most common formats like WAV, WMA, MP3, FLAC or ARC Vorbis. Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab provides endless possibilities for restoring your music collection quickly and easily. All it takes is three steps. Record, edit, burn. We hope you enjoy using Magic's Audio Cleaning Lab. The Magic's team.